what would you say was the scariest game you played? Like that you can remember from your youth. Put you on the spot. Mm, yeah, I would have to think about it. We'll come um, back to it. We can come back to it later. Well, I mean, I don't know, because like a lot of the ones that are way too scary, I just don't play. Uh, however, I, ones that were like very scary that I could play was like, kind of like the Bioshock games, mm. where they were they're not like jump scare scary, but they're creepy and like the implications of the world in the universe is very dark and creepy. Um, so those ones kind of stand out, especially like the creepiness of like the little girls draining like the DNA out of people and like, Oh yeah. You, you you mutated monster people coming at you all the time. I think audio is probably the most essential piece to something being scary, you know, cause like in Bioshock, it was the, uh, that big giant thing. What were those called? Uh, big daddies big daddies like the noises they made were kind of scary and then um the atmospheric kind of music like Mm -hmm. for me quake the first quake when that came out on what was it the n64 i think it was yeah Yeah, um that scared the hell out of me like the 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 noises that the creatures made and then trent reznor from nine inch nails actually did the uh soundtrack for that game and he's okay he's a professional you know and so his job was to make scary atmospheric music yeah and he did that Pretty well, I thought. <laughs> yeah, and I think one thing too that really uh, scared me about the game is like I'm kind of scared of like underwater shit already. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and so like it kind of had the atmosphere sounding of like being in a submarine where you can hear like the pressure of the water squeezing on like this place that you're inside. Um, That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, you know what? Another one I just thought of was uh, this is actually a funny story. So I. Uh, uh, oh. God damn, I just forgot it. Was Doom? Doom three just came out, mm. and I just built my computer, uh, like my first computer that I built, and uh, I was playing it in my room with the, like lights off, and it's oh, very, no. yeah, very dark game. And that's the game like, with a lot of jumps with the flashlight, right? With the flashlight, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh god! So like, and you had to like switch from the flashlight to the gun, you know, and so it was like creepy. And I'm like in this part, and you know, there's gonna be jump scares, and then my aunt comes in. To tell me it's dinner time and she comes in my computer is facing a wall so i'm over here and she comes in and i jump and i'm like knock knock next time <laughs> and she just lets us close the door and to this day i'm pretty sure she thinks she walked in on me jacking off yeah porn yeah that was yeah, been... like, i don't think yeah <laughs> like i don't think she saw the screen you just like, go oh! get out of knock here no <laughs> Interesting thing about Doom 3 is uh, John Carmack, I think, uh, had just created the technology for video games. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, John Carmack, prolific programmer, created Doom when he was like 16 years old. Um, but he created it um, so that when some when an object moved past the light source, the game would automatically know where to cast the shadow. And before that, uh, what they had to do is they actually had to animate the shadows. Oh, so he yeah. created kind of like an AI system for shadow lighting. Nice. Yeah. That was Doom yeah, 3. Really cool. Yeah, and I think that's why they went with the flashlight route, so they could kind of show that off, the technology. Yeah. Well, it worked. I mean, the monsters were really cool looking. Um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a badass game. I think like a lot of people hated on it, but... Uh, it wasn't fast-paced, yeah. like uh, yeah, what yeah. a lot of people I, were probably I, I expecting. Like- 